lots of people have questions about what to do if someone gets COVID-19. What if I get it? What if I think I have it? What if I have come in close contact with someone that has it? What if I think I might have been exposed to it? What if there's COVID in the school? If a student or staff member tests positive for COVID-19, it must be reported to the Vail School District immediately. You will also be contacted for contact tracing and the people or groups that you may have been in contact with will be notified. A medical release will be required before returning to school or work. If you think you might have COVID, please stay home and report it to your school. Isolate at home until you don't have a fever for at least 24 hours without the use of medication and your other symptoms have improved. You need to wait until at least 10 days have passed since the symptoms began. If you live with someone or have had close contact with someone that has tested positive for COVID, is being evaluated for COVID, or has symptoms of COVID, please stay home and notify the school. You will need to isolate at home for at least 10 days and monitor yourself for symptoms. If you get symptoms, wait until you don't have a fever for at least 24 hours without using medication and your other symptoms have improved or it has been at least 10 days since the symptoms began before you can return to school. If you have had contact with a person who has had contact with a person who has COVID, you can continue your normal school or work activities, but you need to strictly follow the COVID safety guidelines. The Pima County Health Department defines an outbreak as two or more confirmed COVID-19 cases within a 14-day period. If an outbreak occurs at a school or within a cohort of students, Vail will report it to the Pima County Health Department and follow their guidance. We will also deep clean the learning spaces and may need to transition that cohort of students to remote learning until it is safe to return. We are very excited to get our students back on campus and we are committed to keeping everyone safe and healthy during this time.